welcome guys to a new episode of Fish Tales and today I'm with my good friend Rafael in Caracas um, a beautiful famous fisherman village in Catalonia uh, the north of Spain and we are going to collect sea urchins so it's now it's the end of December so it means the water is cold Winter is the perfect time to fish for sea urchins. You look for this great seafood because of the roe. Myself, I prefer to eat it raw or with a bit of lemon, but also cooked, it's really awesome. You can use them in your omelette, your fish soup, or as an extra taste to your mayonnaise. Here in Caracas, people love to eat it during parties or just as a tapa. It's so beautiful on the water. And actually, maybe because it's right in the middle of the season, you see so many sea urchins. But we only take the, the ones, the bigger, bigger ones, the bigger, bigger ones. Later on we go to, to eat them all, but first we go to get a few more. So now we're here guys with a stunning selection of sea urchins with Rafael and I caught just a few bays behind us because there is Cadaqués but I just wanted to share this amazing place with you. This is Cap de Creus. It's just a few kilometers away from Cadaqués um, and it's a beautiful spot. It's a great spot. Look at this. This is the Mediterranean um, in the north part of Catalonia. So the sea urchin is, is family of the starfish and, and look at these all these beautiful spines and uh, it's to protect itself, it's to move, it's to hold things um, and at this very end you see the mouth and through this mouth this animal is eating seaweed and plants. Uh, it's living in rocky surroundings like here on this part of the Mediterranean but basically you find them all over the world. So you enter the scissors in the mouth and you're not going too deep and you start cutting towards the side of the sea urchin like maybe one, one and a half centimeter. From here you make a circle. So actually you take off the top side of the sea urchin and don't hold it very firm, this will hurt. So until you come to the end, you take this off. And here you see the breakfast of the sea urchin this morning get rid of all the liquid. With your finger you get rid of the algae, and this is so great. So you see this five, it's always five, you see five pieces of beautiful orange, let's say meat, and this is the delicacy. Mm. It has a really soft structure, very far it tastes a bit like crayfish, a bit lobstery. I have already tasted a lot of fishes, a lot of things that they come from the sea, and uh, all of these um, all of these things that I have already tasted, they are here inside. It comes together in a sea urchin. Yeah. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the box below. And if you like this video, give the thumbs up um, and don't forget to subscribe. Rafael, thank you very much. Thanks for you. And see you back on the next Fishy Friday. Adeo. Adeo.